Roy Mark and I'm traveling around the country talking to people just like you. They got great stories, good or bad, it's just life. So why don't you come along with me and we'll go meet a few of them. Okay. All right, Stanislas, put it okay. in the pot, put it in the pot. <laughs> yes, okay. go ahead. All right, all right. I told you I'd help yeah. you. No, 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 it's fine. I told you I'd help oh, you. Goodness. I did look not. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Stuff. That was a new shirt. Well, not new, but it was clean. They're pirata. Good. They put this stuff here together. Okay, okay. I got it. Yeah, fine. I got it. You make good move, I huh? I got it, yeah. <laughs> Give me Where five. Where are you going? I'm going to clean my Where? hand. <laughs> You're going to go clean your hands. Okay, I'll come in and clean mine. I promise. <laughs> I'm coming in. Okay. Okay. Hey, everybody. This is Maui Mark with It's Just Life. And... If you wonder how I do this, how do I get these people, how do I find them, it ain't easy. I have to go to the uh, nursery with this guy, pick out this pot, put it all together, bring it here. We got one on the other side too. Yeah, we're big friends, all right. And I'm his right-hand man with landscaping. But with a famous artist, and I know he's a famous artist, he's got a book about his life. You just can't walk up to the door and say, hey, can I come in here and talk to you about who you are and what you do? Nope, can't do that. So I dream up all these things, help the guy out. Now I'm going to go in and wash my hands. Come on with me. Okay, now I'm just coming in the living room. He's not around, but I'm going to go wash my hands. Not in the living room, but... I only stopped here for a moment by going, wow, I've never been in a place like this before. It doesn't look like my living room. And there's art all over the place that this guy has done. And I'm just gonna mosey around a little bit, quietly. See what's going on here, wow. Wow, just, wow, amazing. Oh, here's that, here's that book. Here's that book about his. This is that book about his life. Uh, Master of the Bouquet, Stanislaus Koska. <laughs> okay. I wonder what it's about here. Just let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, this is the kind of paintings he does. There's some in here. Hope you can see those. Yeah, there's more of them. Oh wow, bright one. How's that? More of these kind of pictures of the bouquets of flowers, I guess. And, uh, oh dear. God, you can, suitable for framing. If I had this book, I'd just cut them out and frame them. Because I can't afford the art, the real stuff. Anyways, better put this back. And, I'm gonna go over here in the kitchen and wash my hands. Go cut it. Okay, so. <laughs> nice sink. Finally got my hands clean. If I haven't told you before, I hate being dirty. Just not my thing. And, uh, anyways, okay. Uh, I don't know where he went, but I'll find him, I guess. Might as well look around the kitchen. Uh, again, how many people, how many people got real expensive art in their kitchen? I guess if you make it, you can afford to do it. And uh, since he's potato, must be getting ready to do whatever. Probably came from Whole Foods. He's that kind of guy, you know, super, everything's this and that. Wow. And uh, I never knew an artist before, so I can't really tell you. And I don't know where he is, but I'm going to try to go find him. I don't know where he went. So, uh, I don't really have permission to walk around this house. I, I'd like to, but I don't have. So I'm just going to kind of wait here a minute, maybe, for about 30 more seconds, and maybe I'll creep around a little bit, <laughs> see what happens. Well, this is the door to his studio. I've looked all over the house, and this is my last place. I'm going to look around the corner here, but uh, be prepared. He doesn't know I'm coming. This is maybe an off-limits place.
Hands boss, are you in here? Hey, I'm here, come over. Can I come in? Did you wash your hands already? Yeah, I washed my hands. I washed my hands, I promise. Because it's, it's very clean here. I tucked my shirt in so I didn't so it doesn't touch anything. Uh, I can't put this is your studio. Yeah. This is where you paint. Exactly. This wow. is what I'm doing my red flowers. Wow, wow, this is where it happens. Is it okay? Can I shoot this film in here? Oh uh, yeah, no problem. You can go. Okay. You can go. I can I'm go. Uh, I don't know if he's telling me to go or if he's telling but anyways. Stanislas, wow, I just, I'm gonna watch him for a couple of minutes here. Yeah, I just have to prepare the canvas. Always I'm clean my canvas like I'm start one flowers. I have to smooth and clean, you know. Then the flowers is coming more and more sharp with the detail, you know. Okay. It's coming from the mess like this. Okay. And then I'm going with the drawing. You see, I'm drawing a la prima to make my flowers more realistic, you know, you the detail now. coming, you know, from, yeah, you can stop. it's like creation of the wall. Okay, to... but Stanislaus, let yeah. me ask you some questions. Here, wait, put your brush down. I gotta ask you some questions. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking at Now I know, I know you're a famous guy. I know you've got a lot of paintings and all this kind of stuff. But let me ask you something. How did you get here? Where do you come from? Oh my goodness, I make the big tour of the planet, you know, step by step. Well, where did it start? Oh, I'm starting in Poland. Oh, you're Polish? Yeah, I'm starting oh, okay. in Poland. Okay, you life. didn't come from France, you came from Poland. Yeah. Oh. And born in Germany, in the border of the Germany with uh, Poland, in Szczecin. Okay. And then all this border had been moved in the time of the Yalta in 1954. And then, you know, I make my first school in. Uh, in Poland, out of the school in Academy of Art in Warsaw. Oh, wow. And then, in you Warsaw, know, okay. I'm going one time for vacation, you know, and uh, I'm just find some place to go because I'm uh, speaking Esperanto, which been the language of the Europe. And then I'm find some place to go in Montpellier, in south of the France. Oh, okay. And this is where I meet my first wife. Can I sit down while we Absolutely. talk to you? Just a minute, I'll get a chair here. Yeah, okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so, yeah. and then you went to France. Uh, how old were you at that time? Oh, and this time I'd be like 20 years old, you know. Oh, okay, you're 20 years old and you're, you moved to France. Yeah. And did you go to school somewhere in France? Or yeah, what I just uh, continue my school uh, in the School of the Versailles. Art School of the Versailles, and then I'm going to have my sandwich. I think that's like day. Harvard in, uh, in, in, in the language of the artist. Yeah. And the School then, uh, of Versailles, even I know what that is, where the fountains are and everything. Oh my okay. goodness, this has been a castle of the Versailles. Yeah, know, yeah. We live, yeah. live in Louis the 16, Louis the 14. So you Louis went the to school there? Yeah. There's a school, school be next door. Next and door? Uh, oh next yeah, door I, went, I went to school next door to Versailles, of course. And then. Uh, yeah. I'm having my sandwich, you know, for the lunch and I'm walking around of the whole room of the Louis the 16 and watching all this artwork, classic <laughs> painting, all this gold. And you're 20 painting. years old. Yeah, I'm being 20 years old and then, <laughs> you know, I'm uh, continuing my school in Academy of Art in uh, Rue Bonaparte in Paris. Oh, so you went from Versailles to Paris, of yeah. course. Yeah. <laughs> <It's been separate>. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we had really fun. It's been, you know, 74, 76, you know, it's been the good era in France. We have still this old big <laughs> It was money. a good era too here, I remember my car, 74, <laughs> I had a 72 at that point. And yeah. we're running with the old De Chevaux, you know, the old Citroën, the little car. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, if you don't know what a Citroën is, mm -hmm. and in France, uh, Citroën is a lemon, right? A citro. Oh, a citro a is a lemon. <laughs> well, in in English, we always looked at that car as uh, because a, a we lemon. squeezed it uh, car yeah. like in the lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I remember they had some of these cars in the U.S. and and here's what I remember: you sat in it and then it adjusted it itself. Moved like it oh, it yeah. moved up and down. And it was if you're going too fast, the roof going out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I remember this car. Okay, uh, so you had a fun, Citroen, you know. yeah. And they tried to pawn those off on us over here, but it didn't and work. You see the between all this school and working <laughs> in Montmartre, making the portrait and oh. making caricature. Oh, and okay. you know, to make my pocket money, you know, each day I'm going, you know, <laughs> after the school in Montmartre. Let me ask before. you that, wait, 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 wait. You were making pocket money in Montmartre? Yeah. Let me ask you something. 
And How now, much does one of your paintings cost now? Like something like that one right there. What does that cost when it's finished? Oh, if I know, go to a gallery and buy this. Uh, if you're going in gallery, you go to pay around of 35, 45,000, depending on the size. <laughs> and he started out making pocket chains in Montmartre. So anytime you go to a fair and somebody's doing caricatures, <laughs> uh, maybe they're going to end up like Mr. Koska. It's actually Stanislaus. Stanislaus Koska. I can't kill him Mr. Koska because... <laughs> Mr. would be... Yeah, Mr. is not him. <laughs> so anyways. Okay, so you were in Walmart doing caricatures to make pocket money. Yeah, you see it's been a long, long way because uh, I'm, I'm having my family, you know, I have to take care of my kids, going to school. Okay, and, so, uh, wait, so you got married. Yeah, I'm getting How married. How old were you when you got married? Oh, I'm being like 22 years old. Like 22. Oh, that's reasonable. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> you have two kids or what? Two kids, yeah. Two kids, right away? No, we make uh, for three years. <laughs> All right, three years without kids. Well, no wonder you're making pocket chains and yeah. Okay. And I'm have really fun because it's been crazy era. You know, have never time to sleep. Always something happened in Paris. Always been something you know to do. And between, I'm have to working hard to make the money to pay all this crazy. Right. in Paris. Right. This means I'm sleeping maybe five hours by day and it's been already enough because I have to start my day at seven o'clock of the morning running, you know, uh, for my school. Then, you know, I'm passing hour and a half to get Paris ah. because I'm living in Saint Cloud. Okay. This is between the That Paris means he's commuting in, 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 in modern day terms. He's commuting to do this. Yeah. So let me tell you. So this is a typical <laughs> it's just life overnight success overnight success started you know when he was uh, in his teens going to all these schools and then making money so I always keep that in mind when I meet people who are overnight successes I always say well, well when did this overnight success really start yeah a long time ago I thought so Mark, it's not ago. happened over time because I have to be educated at the same time, like all this world are running fast. I'm coming from communist country. Well, here I am in my sophisticated mobile studio, which you've probably already seen if you've watched some of my other videos, more commonly known as the kitchen table in my motorhome with my uh, high-priced, sophisticated laptop and my Apple computer screen that uh, if you see some cracks in it, because that's what happens when it goes flying off of the table onto the floor as you're driving somewhere down a highway. Working on this uh, clip that you just saw the first part of with uh, the famous artist Stanislas Koska. I really thought I knew a lot about this guy and all of a sudden at the end of that first clip a bomb kind of hit me. He says, I come from a communist country and I totally forgot that Poland when he was growing up was a communist country and so as often happens people become so much more intriguing as we talk to them and find out more about their life so let's look at the next segment and we'll find out about more about Stanislaus and his early life and what he's doing now come on along <laughs> 